welcome, or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl, Penny. And this is my awesome dad, George. Guys, we're back at Get Go Cafe Market. We loved it so much last time that, like I said, they have so much on their menu, we had to come back. Um, now, that's a Get Go Cafe Market. Not just a plain old Get Go, but a Get Go Cafe Market. It's a gas station, guys, that you can order food. Or, um, made to order food okay guys they got an app and they got a kiosk inside but we ordered from the app guys we got two things they look absolutely delicious well the one does the other one I didn't unwrap but the first thing that I did unwrap and took a picture of was the steakhouse burger now guys to be honest when I went on the app and saw that they had the steakhouse burger I'll show it a little bit closer here um, it didn't really say what was on it okay so I just went with my feeling it sounded good that's what we're gonna try also we got the bistro steak sub and last time we get a sub we got a half this time we got a whole so they wrap it in two halves but this is a whole steak sub guys we'll check that out here in a minute that's a bistro steak sub we'll check let's do this burger this burger looks amazing let me get it out here and show it to you and I'm gonna cut it in half and me and dad's gonna try it the bun looks beautiful, guys. This is a decent sized burger. Oh, it looks like it's got fried onions, some sort of sauce, like a burger sauce. It's got grilled onions. It's got a piece of cheese, which I'm not, it's it's white in, in color, so I don't know what kind of cheese it is. I'm a hamburger patty. It looks really, really good. Um, I'm gonna try to cut this in half. And I didn't bring a plate this time, so I'm gonna have to kind of come here in the middle. Try to cut this in half. It's hard, guys. I'm holding my breath. I'm gonna hand this to Dad and let him try it out. They are charging. Six dollars and ninety-nine cents for this burger, guys. Six dollars and ninety-nine cents. I got onions on my console here. I have a feeling. I'm gonna put a napkin underneath here because I'm afraid the sauce is gonna go on my shirt. Mmm. Okay. Their hamburgers got that um that flame broiled taste like um Burger King has. You mm -hmm. you taste that? Yeah. Man, okay. You good. It's got really good flavor, guys. You know, I like to tell you what I observe, right? It's got really good flavor. But I gotta say something. Okay, so the burger itself, the hamburger itself, let me get one more bite here. I'm not sure. The hamburger itself has that smoky flavor, which I love from Burger It's got that Burger King smoky flame broiled flavor, okay? The hamburger itself, the texture of it. Now, I'm not complaining or nothing, but I like to tell you, in case you want to try these things out, if some of these things would bug you, then you know that at least I told you, right? The hamburger itself is a little, the texture of it is a little soft. And I hope that makes sense. Like when you fry a hamburger at home, you know how it's got a chew to it, right? It's got, you know, I always call it a beefy chew, right? And this tastes like beef, right? But it's just, it's the, the burger is a little soft in texture. But, it juicy. Mm -hmm. Sauce is good and soft. Mm -hmm. It's got very good flavor, wild. 
$6.99 for that. Man. And they have other other burgers, right, guys? They have a build your own burger. They have like a classic burger. They have a a bacon cheeseburger. But I just saw this one, this steakhouse burger, and I just thought it, you know, it sounded like a little elevated, right? So six ninety nine. We'll, yeah. we'll talk about it here. Dad's got his last bite and let him get a drink. Has grilled onions on it, like caramelized onions. Mm -hmm. It had um, the fried, like shoestring onions, like you know, the fried onions, the crispy fried onions. And it had a burger sauce. The burger sauce was kind of like a Thousand Island burger sauce, Big Mac sauce, come something in that range. Okay, it's a little sweet, a little tangy. It was almost, the flavor of it was almost like if you married a, uh, a burger from uh, Burger King and you married it with a, a Big Mac, that's kind of the flavor of it. Because you taste that smoky flame broiled from that burger, a little smokiness, and the burger sauce kind of gave you that Big Mac sauce vibe, you know what I mean? Um... So it kind of it was kind of like you married those two companies together and, and brought out a burger. It, I'm trying not to say too much, but that's what it tasted like. Excuse me. I'm super excited about this bistro sub too. This bistro steak sub. I tell you what, that's a good burger. Well, that's a pretty good burger. You would get that one again, huh? The sauce. And the sauce. The sauce and yeah. onion. Pretty good. You would get that one again? Yeah. Okay. Um, they're charging, what, $6.99 for that? Not bad. It's a pretty good size sandwich. We halved it, right? Um, Man, I'm trying to think of a score to give that. Dad, you get chewed up before you go any further. I don't yeah, know when you get choked. I'm trying to think of a score to give it. It has great flavor, guys. But I am going to tell you, for me, the bur the hamburger meat was a little soft. Do you agree, Dad, that the texture of it's like a soft burger? Like the, the meat was soft, but it was good. Yep. It was uh, tasty. Yep, and it was tasty. It, it was a, a, a bur mm -hmm. burger. Yeah. Uh, which was not uh, could not be denied. Yeah. You guys. Is, is it a burger? It's a burger. A good burger. From a gas station, guys. From a gas station. Dan, what score out of 10 would you give that burger? I'd give it a 9.5. A 9.5? Yeah. I'm not going to go quite as high, guys. I'm not. But I'm telling you right now, it has really good flavor. The sauce is good. The sauce good. is good. The caramelized onions on it is good. The crunchy onions on it is good. It's got the good onion flavor. I'm not really sure what cheese that was on there. It, it might have been white American. I mean, I yeah, wasn't getting a very like did. strong cheese flavor. Um, I got a big old ant on me. Slapped it off my leg. Um, I'm going to give it a 9 out of... Or, no, no, no. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Okay? And solid, solid 8 out of 10. I wish the hamburger was a little more, I want to say beefier, a little more chew to it. Um, but other than that, it, I think it's just the quality of the meat, right, that they're using. But it's got a really good flavor. I just, I got to be true to like what I really like in a burger and what I, you know, don't like. But it does has a, it has a great flavor. So... That's it. It's a, it's a real bur good burger. Yeah. It is a good burger. Good burger. It is. Okay, so this is the Bistro Steak Sub. Um, we, bought, we bought a whole, because I wanted to see what a whole was. So basically it's two halves like we had last time. Okay. But um, a whole one was 12 dollars 
I'm just going to give this whole half to dad and I'm going to have my whole half and we'll wrap them up at the end. So it looks like it's on a, uh, a sub bun that's like, that's like, um, everything bagel type, you know, it's not a bagel, right? But like the everything bagel seasoning on it. I'm going to try to peek in here and see what I can see in here. Cause I have no clue. It looks like cheese, mayo, chopped steak. I'm just going to give this thing to dad. I'm handing this thing to dad. It might take two hands. It's a little long. Okay. We can have his half and I'll have my half and then we can wrap up whatever we don't eat. But they charged for a whole $12.99 here in Ohio. A half is $6.99. So if you just got a half, you would just get this for $6.99. But that's a big sandwich for $6.99. grilled onions on it too, okay? mayo on it I think like a provolone cheese okay grilled onions and the steak and this roll ha does have like everything bagel seasoning on it so it's like sesame seed a little garlic seasoning to it okay I gotta watch how much I do this one while I put the gift Or it's starting to get full. And I know that as I sit here, it's going to get fuller and fuller. You know what I mean? Because you got to, kind of, this message has got to get to your brain that. Oh, man. Like I said, I'm not trying to say too much. Because we want to hear Dad's opinion on it first. Before I say my opinion. Hence the name, Penny's Two Cents. <laughs> Excuse me. I just, I'm going to say right now, I just can't believe that this come from a gas station. I really couldn't. Like, if you had ordered me these things and brought them to me, and said, hey, Penny, I want you to taste these out. Taste test them for me. And you asked me, where where do I think you bought this? Like a fast food, a sit-down restaurant, you know, fast casual, whatever. Nowhere in my wildest dreams would I say a gas station. It, it's not given gas station at all. Not at all. You get full, Daddy? Yep. Are you ready to give up? Yep. You sure? I don't know what yep. it's like. <laughs> you're still going. I thought maybe you were going to keep going. Okay, I got to make sure I got a hold of it. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. I got mayo in my pants. A big chunk of meat fell out and went straight on my pants. But <laughs> you can see this. Oh boy, that mayo on the I'll tell you what, they weren't skippy on that. No, they weren't. They were not. 
They definitely were not skimping on any of that. Let's get our hands wiped off, then I'll get you a drink. And because I know you got mayo on your hands, I do too. I'll take this from you, and I'll give you okay. another one for your nose, I'm sure. But I'm, uh, I'm not trying to give you that. You got mayo on the backs of your hands. <laughs> These wet wipes come in handy, guys. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, catching air. <laughs> like Dad said, it wasn't skimping on it. There's plenty of uh, steak in that thing. Onion, cheese. And mayo. They put mayo in there. Good slather yeah. of mayo. It was, it was juicy and it was it was good. Let me see if I can help a little bit. This one hand over here just got like a glob of mayo. <laughs> it was tasty. Okay. And uh, I like it. I like the steak and I like the, the onion. You want to hold on to a napkin? I'm sure you do. Yeah, it had caramelized grilled onions in it. Wow. <laughs> it had like seasoning outside of the roll, Dad. It had like a little bit of a garlic flavor. Did yeah. you taste that a little bit? Yeah, I didn't taste it, but I, I knew they were there. There's seasoning there, right? Yeah. It wasn't dull or nothing. Um, the outside of the thing had a, everything bagel seasoning on it. Man, guys, <sighs> we've done some steak subs, okay? <laughs> I know a lot of you going to get so bad at me. I know you are. We did the steak sub at uh, Firehouse Subs, right? And the bun got soggy, and me and Dad, neither one enjoyed it. Dad's sandwich was falling apart. Mine had a, we both had a soggy bun on the bottom. And we didn't enjoy it, okay? Now, I enjoyed this way better than that one. Yeah, no, I did do. Man, Dad, what kind of... So you would get the steak sub. I here, would, correct? I would. I would too. It's delicious, guys. What score out of 10 are you going to give I this? I give a 9. A 9 out of 10? Yeah. I think Dad's exactly right, guys. I think it deserves a 9 out of 10. It's got seasoning. The sub held up good. The steak in it was chip chopped a little finer than you know, like it, I just want to let you know it's chip chopped, right? It had grilled onions on it, the mayo was good on it, it had a pro had provolone cheese on it. It had good seasoning. And, and the steak seasoning. is a decent quality. I I think you saw me yeah. pull out some of the steak and eat it. It's a decent quality steak. It's really good and I would get it again. I wouldn't bat my eye to get it again. Okay, so no, I wouldn't either. So, you saw the one that Dad was holding in his hand. Like, if you just bought that one sub, it's $6.99 six here in Ohio. So, I feel like, so we ate the burger, we like that, but it's the same price for either one, right? I I would say go with that steak sub. That, that bistro steak sub was, I felt like you're getting your money's worth for Either seven. hamburger or a steak sub, you can't go wrong. Okay, Dad, my question is, is... So the hamburger, you had half of it, but you can imagine a whole yeah. hamburger. The hamburger was six ninety nine, and the steak sub was six ninety nine. Which one would you rather, if if you could only choose one of those, which one would you choose? I would choose the burger. You would choose the burger. burger yeah. Okay, and I would choose the steak sub. It's just our it's just our preferences, guys. It's both very good. Um, I re recommend both of them, right? Yeah. Well, they're delicious. Yeah, I would not would get it again. You would get it again. I would too. So anyway, guys, go out and try. Yeah, yeah I got full. Yeah, yeah. Well, we had part of. Yeah, we had part of yeah. part, but still, yeah. Um, get go cafe market. See if you guys got one. I didn't even know about it until I think it was Michaela. I believe it was Michaela. I can't. I'm, my brain is all over the place. I think it was Michaela that told me. But anyway, we never knew about uh, Get Go Cafe Markets. We knew about Get Go's. We have Get Go gas stations everywhere. Um, they're related to uh, Giant Eagle grocery stores. So if you have Giant Eagle grocery stores, most likely you'll have one of these Get Go Cafe Markets. But wow, 
try them out guys or if you're traveling like i know a lot of people say we don't have that in our area but yeah. if you're if you're out on vacation or whatever and you're trying to find something to eat you don't want the mcdonald's you don't want the wendy's you don't want you know the taco bell on your trip or whatever and you see a get-go cafe market go in there and order you can download the app really quick on your phone or they got a little kiosk you just poke in what you want wait for your order and get it yeah, it's good oh, wow it's good it's, it's a really good buy i really want to come back here for some more stuff that guys they have breakfast they have biscuits and gravy they have breakfast bowls they have um some panini sandwiches like press sandwiches they i wouldn't have mind trying bowls, uh, they have, all kinds. yeah they have um pierogies here i want to try their pierogies sometime man it's just i, I I want to say, okay, we go to Sheets and we like doing Sheets, okay? We've done a few Sheets reviews. If you haven't seen those, that's another gas station made to order food. Please go back and watch those videos. We've done a few Sheets reviews and we love Sheets, okay? But this Get Go Cafe Market is right in line with Sheets with me. This they, is a, 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 it is a special place. Yeah. I feel like they're right in line with Sheets, and we're enjoying it just as much as Sheets. Um, the one step up for the, the cafe, the Get Go Cafe markets, I feel like they got a little more options, a little more options, and a little more. I don't know this. A little more options, more sandwiches, more wraps, more things, more you things to really try. You really will and enjoy their food. I think so too. I think so too. I, we haven't gotten anything that we thought was yucky from here or I can't, I can't think of anything. I can't imagine them having anything that was totally not good. So try them out, guys. We recommend them. Right. Okay. Dad, you're ready to let these guys yes. go. Yes. So, guys, we hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow. And God bless you all. Yes, guys. God bless. Come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye.